Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. This is the second video in which I explain how to remove and reinstall the spacebar on the MacBook laptop computer. In the first part we remove the spacebar key along with the retention mechanism and in this video I'll show you how to reassemble retention mechanism and put the key back into place. Retention mechanism consists of two small plastic pieces and you see them here. Each piece has what I call rugged and flat surface. The exactly like this, uh, flat surface is more smooth and the rugged surface has few grooves. Here is a picture where you can see the rugged surfaces. Uh, on the larger piece, uh, note the two grooves on the sides uh, which make it qualifying for the rugged and uh, the middle piece itself uh, has a big depression in the center um, which also not smooth um, so both of them are faced up with a rugged surface now we are going to assemble the mechanism and for that I would recommend to take the rectangular piece in the right hand and the smaller piece in the left hand in such a way that the smooth surfaces of the pieces fi facing you like I'm holding them right now then you will need to insert uh, the little pegs of the left piece into the small holes of the rectangular piece and uh, I will start it from the bottom then working up to the top once you got both pegs in the corresponding holes you will have completed mechanism with a smaller piece hinging inside the larger piece the pieces should be able to be collapsed completely flat and if you cannot make them flat then you did something wrong so you need to redo it now is the final step um, the installation of the mechanism and the key itself on the keyboard as you remember from part one video there are two pairs of hooks which are receiving the retaining mechanism the smaller uh, distance between the upper hooks and the larger distance between the uh, lower hooks as you see here so to install the mechanism take it into your hands so that the flat surface of the pieces are facing up and swing the middle piece like I showed before in this video then um, grab the prominent part of the smaller piece with your thumb and index fingers and move the uh, entire mechanism over the keyboard um, in such a way that the upper hooks are completely in the holes of the smaller part and then lay flat the entire mechanism um, then gently slide your finger uh, along the edges down uh, on the mechanism allowing the uh, lower hooks to catch against the pegs of the uh, larger piece like like this and the final part is to install the key itself take a look underneath the key make sure that you're holding it in such a way that mounting brackets which are closer together are on the top and those which are farther away are on the bottom like it's shown on the video and then just flip the key over away from you placing um, the key uh, on the keyboard uh, and then applying gentle pressure making sure that the key snaps to um, all the mechanisms and brackets underneath it uh, once the key is secured we're all done and we can enjoy our new key uh, I hope this video was helpful for you as always I appreciate your comments below thank you for watching